we're going to see uh, Snake. Uh, you know, a little bit more Snake than Mega Man. Although, you know, we'll see how this game goes. Oh. Alrighty, so we have Roy and Snake here. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go on here. I'm not exactly sure how this match is gonna play out. I'm gonna guess that Roy is gonna have to really maintain some space before, you know, diving in with his neutral airs and his combo starters. Mm -hmm. Whereas Snake is kind of just gonna relax and be like, okay, you have speed, but how are you gonna get here when I'm putting my C4 in here? Alrighty. Alright, see so just relentless pressure in the center stage. Yeah, Nick Zero doing a good job of maintaining center stage right now. Mm. Could have done a little bit better to cover that platform. I feel like it's really important to cover Snake's landings. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like... It's funny, Snake's gameplay, you know, like he does a lot of things, but it can be just kind of... Like, the base summary is, if you can punish his landing, you do really well in the snake matchup. Whether it's your character doing it, or you as a player, Ooh. you know? And, yeah. But, Speaking Quick Man hitting that first games. hit. Yeah, that first kill. Already, yeah, it can be very dangerous when you have a max rage snake. Yeah, especially like you saw that it, the way he accidentally detonated himself with the nades, uh, the blast zones really uh, give him some help, lasting just a little bit longer, uh, which can be really annoying because when you go for so many trades against a character like Snake, you, he can rack up quite a lot of damage on you and he might not care as much because he's pretty heavy, same weight as uh, Rob and Banjo. Yeah, those are nice dash tilts. That's kind of what you have to do if you want to get in to get a kill. Um, either that or a dash and jab, and then mm -hmm. we're back here. All right. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I like that. It's a nice B reverse movement. All right. Not too much on the edge guard from uh, Roy, although I'm not too sure how much he can do in that position. So in general, so I, I know this just from a little bit of experience with Roy. Um, you know, when Snake does the, the jump up B, obviously it can be really hard to catch that. Yeah. But if they're doing the standard up B where they're like slowly approaching ledge, it can always be a good idea to just go for that back air. Yeah. Um, in some cases you can go for the down air and destroy their up B. That's really satisfying. Yeah, um, that's a little bit more difficult to do because you can't air dodge out of it. So based on his positioning, he might go to the ledge. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, um, yeah, there is a little bit that Roy can at least attempt to do. And even that, where he got a swing and it didn't like fully do it, he got a little bit more damage and was still fast enough to make it back uh, and not really lose any advantage. Actually, kind of honestly maintained it. Yeah, that's the benefit of... Roy, you have like a lot of air speed to like work so with. So you fast. Can just this character flies in the air. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Did he try to sticky nice. him there? I, I think he may have. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of backfired, but I like the I like the attempt. Yeah. Nice. All right, off stage. Ooh. Yeah, this is where it gets intimidating. Ooh, nice had... recovery. Oh. He had kept that kept that Nikita going. Could have caught that air dodge. But now, now we got a juggle going. Roy, very fast character. Very, oh, very he's capable. Going out. He's going ooh, out. ooh, all right. Just barely missed the punish on the air dodge. Oh, he really jumped jump. right oh. into it. And uh, Quick Man gonna be taking game one. Very nice. Yeah, it, you know, he had a bit of a start uh, in the early game, uh, taking the lead, but, oof. Um, you know, Nick Zero definitely gave him a run for his money. He got really competitive towards the end there, closing that gap. Uh, There's a, a few flubs from, like, I think both sides. Just that last kill, honestly, was kind of like, oh, my, you jumped into that. Um, let's see. How did this next kill go? Cause this is like he didn't let uh, Quickman build too much of a lead. Yeah, just run forward tilt.
Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he went for a sticky. Hilarious. Oh, wow. And he got up aired for it. Yeah, I mean, you got to be careful with that because sticky doesn't put uh, your opponent in any sort of, like, hit stun or whatever. So, like, you can just swing just like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be game one. Uh, Quick Man in a bit of a lead. And uh, let's see what kind of adjustments we're going to see from Nick Zero. Uh, let's try and bring this to a game three. Whoa. You sound like you're underwater. I'm underwater? Ah. Oh. I mean, I, I would prefer the other one. Uh, I went from mobile to the Oh, you, you sound way worse. Oh, so we're going to see Shulk. Okay. okay. Alright, you're going to see a... All right. Hope that's better. Yep, much better. Cool. Oh wow. Okay, I guess we need to stay mobile. So Shulk, um, as I see the show, he's bombing the Shulk. <sighs> huh? Has Nick Zero ever like shown that he has a Shulk, or is this kind of just experimental? I mean, I feel like this is the first time I've seen Nick Zero play. So him playing Roy was the first time I saw him. Um, yeah. So I don't really know. Uh, what too much of a difference? Uh, like, what what are the advantages of picking Shulk over Roy versus in the Snake matchup? Like, you do have much larger swings, which could be uh, beneficial, but I kind of feel like that could also be kind of bad, just because you're more likely to go for to get trades. Because remember, the grenade spawn is on frame one, and Snake likes trades. Yeah, absolutely, and you kind of have to be cautious with maintaining your Monado arts here just because you have those numerous amounts of grenades and yeah. switch gears arts. It's really difficult to keep up. Like sometimes it'll be hit and you'll be like, oh I have to go to speed art. But then you get hit by multiple grenades and you're like, oh no no no, no. I have to immediately go to shield. And then by the time you're done, you're at kill percent. So yeah. it can be very difficult. Yeah, because like let's say you're in Buster, you get a uh, you ended up getting a trade. Well, you took extra damage because you traded and it's still a grenade. Uh, if you're in Smash, you're gonna take hella knockback. If you're you're in Shield or in Speed, you know like you know just getting away is gonna be hard with all those explosions. It's a real real obstacle course. But regardless, a uh, pretty good edge guard there by uh, Nick Zero, keeping it actually pretty close. Yeah, that was a really nice edge guard. Ooh, the up tilt into the up smash. All right, shield out. Busta. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, nice. 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 Ooh. All right. Oh, went for it. You getting the swings in? That's good. They were all yeah, clean you too. Do. You just gotta, co gotta cover the landing. That's all you need to do. It's difficult to be able to stuff Snake because, like, again, like as mentioned, you know, Nade spawn is frame one, so stuffing Snake. Whew. All right, we got potential juggle going on here, but he held shield to stay safe to try and avoid the C4. Uh, respectable. Didn't want to risk like dropping shield and failing to go through the platform or something. Ooh, training with the dash Ooh, attack. Like like the choice of the speed art. Gonna keep it away. All right. Oh, oh, just barely misses the spike with the jump Monado. Oh, that's gonna be it. Yeah, uh, there it is. Up tilt. Yeah. Nothing you can do about that. That's true. Okay. But an immediate retort. So, last stock zero zero. I don't like those backslashes. Please stop. Um. <laughs> wants to keep swinging.
as follow ups with four there. Yeah, overall, I think next year is doing a better job of just being able to maintain space, especially near ledge. There's yeah. Most people crack it there. Uh, no, right here. Turning the tables potentially. Oh, yeah. Nick Zero is doing a pretty good job, but uh, he's been taking a little bit too much damage where Quickman has now taken the lead and is in kind of a pretty advantageous position. Yep. Punishing the landing. Ooh. He was swinging the wrong way. Not even close. I don't know about that one, Snake. Ooh. Oh, he looks good in black. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Okay, um. So, yeah, that's nice up till. Boom. But yeah, I mean, pretty good stuff from uh, both of them. Uh, good showing from both characters of Nick Zero's Roy and Shulk. Uh, they're definitely, like, it wasn't a wash or anything. They're pretty competitive for both players. Just, you know, Quick Man A was able to edge it out uh, for this set. So. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed. All right. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, I think what I like most about Nick Zero's Shulk oh, compared to like Nick ball. Zero's Roy was definitely like the offstage game. Like mm -hmm. just going out there. Yeah. And I think obviously the Monado Arts helped, but I think even without the Monado Arts, like he's, he, he, he was out there. Like he was going to go for like a down air spike. He was going for a lot of uh, cross slashes, albeit very good ones. But, oh, it was good. Yep.